Yo, Bedlam Academy. It's large right now, Bank Holiday Weekend. If you're liking the sound of this big bomb apart sound system, yeah? Somebody say yeah! When I walked in across the dance floor to get to the stage, fuck me, it was so good. It's all about the bedlam wall of sound, mate. Big lot of bass in the matty. I put my fucking can on the floor. Right, it's fucking off on a mission. It doesn't matter, the sound system is so massive! It's fucking amazing, bro. Really good, did you go? Loud is loud, and that's, that's quite easy to achieve. Loud and good is a very different thing altogether. And it really was there tonight. First played Bedlam in Swindon, like years ago, man. Like probably five, six, God, maybe even longer, seven years ago. So it's been a long term relationship. Bedlam, right, is like playing cricket. And you go into bat, and you might be a bit nervous because it's a bit, quite a big thing. But then, first ball, you stride down the wicket and you hit a six. And you think, it feels good. Great crowd actually, and um, it's really good. You know, when you when you play maybe a slightly sort of earlier in the night, and the place is you know really full. Everyone's come nice and early, and so everyone's like really into it from the off. We kind of worry if we we turn up to a predominantly drum and bass night, whether the MCs be a bit pissed off when we sort of start playing loads of dubstep, but like it's really cool, you know, like when the MCs just flow over the dubstep really well as well, so that's really nice when that happens. I think Bedlam is popular because of like, the diverse lineups which they have. It's really nice that the drum and bass crowd and the dubstep crowd share an interest and they both are big in, you know, like both styles. So um, yeah, no, it's really nice that you can come and just you know just switch it up, and people are just sort of happy wherever you're playing. It's really cool. This is the future right here. Bedlam is the future. Yeah. No, for sure. <laughs> because you know what? People get bored of listening to the same music over and over again, and you get bored if you go to a club after an hour. So yeah, it's all about switching it up and keeping the current thread, and that's bass. Yeah, this is X Man. We're at Bedlam, the Wall of Sound Carnival weekend. Absolutely amazing night. Make sure you reach the next one. Yo, 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 people! I say Roscoe, you say Mo. Roscoe, Roscoe. Yo, it's Roscoe Banton. I'm here in Bristol at the O2 Academy. Looking flash, playing the bangers. Everything nice. I've just heard the wall of sound. The wall of sound is, is serious. Everyone like dancing behind the desk is like, what's going on? But I just kept turning the monitors off just to listen to the system like, yeah, that sounds bad. Then turn it back on again. The crowd was totally, totally hyped all the way through, even though I was playing loads and loads of new tracks and little two-minute demos and stuff that like only my missus has heard, you know, brand brand new stuff, and they were as hyped for that 
as they were for like Cockney Dog and Jehovah and stuff, like a really responsive crowd. When you work with DJs like Marky, you know, you're playing different, so it brings a different side out of you, which you can show the crowd, you know, instead of the same old thing. You get them going as usual, what, you're, what I'm known for, but it's nice to do other things, so it was good. I really enjoyed it. Marky's set was amazing. done a certain amount of gigs on the weekend and to top it off with this, it's taken to another different level, so it's nice. So. For me, I think it's quite amazing. Thank you very much, huh? Yeah? I've never, never used ear protectors, I just kind of fucking self-conscious enough as it is. Let you alone know, like put these things in your ears, then I'll be like, shit. <laughs> I would never want to do that. I'll go fucking deaf first, to be honest.